I think it's a problem probably everywhere, more so in D.C., but th there's really a not, a not a lot of homelessness from what I can see in Arlington. I, I, it doesn't really affect me. Um, I don't really see it in Arlington. I don't see a lot of homelessness here. When I first became homeless, I was laying on a storefront and uh, I was looked up and I was asking God, why me? Why me? Here I am sleeping on the ground and all that type of stuff, you know, and sometimes I wish that I didn't wake up. We're a very fortunate community and there's a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of people who are doing very well. When you're a family, particularly a child, a teenager, a school-age child, who's not doing well financially or have even the basics of three meals a day or a place to go home at night, you know it and you feel very isolated. I've been homeless for the past five years. And at my age, I'm thankful I don't have no ailments or nothing. And the shelter could be good or bad. It's the way you accept it. And I see it's very good. I became homeless because of uh, a lot of alcohol and drug uh, in my life. My homelessness took me a lot of places a whole bunch of places, uh, treatment facilities, uh, this park bench, this park bench in the city, under the bridges, and all of that type of stuff. I have been in and out of homelessness now f since uh, 06, 07, somewhere in there, um, for one reason or another, whether it be my health, which has taken a severe downturn, or through substance abuse. Pancreatitis is a disease that a lot of us alcoholics get. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I have four years and four months sober. Um, the first bout I had of pancreatitis was in October 2009 during my active drinking. I did not heed the warnings and stop. Unfortunately, the damage has been done. Six months into my sobriety, uh, my, chronic, my pancreatitis turned chronic and it is uh, an excruciating affliction. My current situation is that I was working, I was having room rent, so I was able to maintain a job, but through many hospitalizations, many ER visits, I was unreliable, they had to let me go. And without any money, I had nothing in savings, savings had all been spent, here I am again. The area that I think we have the biggest gap is in homeless youth. Um, kids who don't have a, a guardian with them, who are maybe 18 or just below 18, or even all the way up to 24. They're still very young adults. They still need quite a bit of, of growing up and guidance. And there's right now in Arlington, no homeless youth shelter. And we know that every year there are kids aging out of foster care directly into homelessness. And we need to do something better about that. You know, homelessness is one of those things that um, persists, right? No community can make it go away entirely because things happen in people's lives that push them out of whatever their stable housing is. But we've been working pretty carefully for the last mm, seven, eight years on trying to get homelessness down in Arlington to the lowest level that we can. And we've done a number of different things. We do have programs that will give you rent subsidies, um, help you pay your, your uh, light bill, and, and we try to interrupt homelessness when people look like they might lose their homes. What helped me get out was uh, dealing with ACE span. Uh, uh, one of the workers told me for to go into detox and uh, that she'll help me get a place and that's this way I'm at now. ACEPAN provides more of the basic services at our drop-in center. We have showers available for our clients so they can come in and take showers. We have washers and dryers. They can, always, they can come in any day of the week and come and wash their clothes. We also have a, a full clothing room where our clients can come and get new shoes, new, new shirts, socks, pants, whatever it is that they need. And uh, those are the three you know, basic things that we provide 
to anyone that walks into our center. I've been working, Social Security told me, since 1965. Now I get a nice salary. So with that salary, my artwork plus my business, I'm well to do. One lady wanted me to do a cartoon post of Hello Kitty and Spider-Man. So I'm looking for $20. Off. She gave me $50. I said, good things coming to me. You know, don't worry about nothing. Be at peace, you know. Don't argue, because it only makes things worse. And keep in touch with my family and go to church. And I'm thankful I have a family church. Yeah, I wish it was more shelter for people. Then you got people that really uh, need it, because like uh, my lawyer and case manager told me, you've been in these shelters, you're the oldest one here. You got to get out, because you got people that need this more than I do. Now I got to start saving more money, so they'll know, well, you capable of renting a apartment. Our mission is, is really to provide all the services and support and to get people into homes. And that's what we do and we've been really successful at it. Arlington citizens have been really, really involved in, in the issue of homelessness. And our homelessness um, rate, as measured by the Point in Time survey, has really dropped about 65% over the last five years. I was on the bus and a person from H Band called me and said, Mr. Clark, where you at? I said, I'm on uh, the bus heading back to the shelter. She said, you sitting down? I said, yeah. She said, they uh, accepted you into an apartment. My whole heart uh, just dropped, everything dropped. So she said, you on a... Uh, sound surprised or nothing like that. I said, because I'm crying. You know, a person like me that been homeless all of them years and going through uh, programs, programs, the program, I truly thought there wasn't gonna be no help for me. I know that I'm a, a example, a good example to some of them. And my pastor told me that I might be the only Bible that my homeless friends ever read, you know? So I try to live life on life uh, terms and, you know, and just be a, a, a positive, you know, example of the people that I be around. Because it do matter today what people think of me. When I was homeless, I didn't really care what they thought of me. I've been with Doorways for 13 years and live in Arlington and I'm so astonished to see that every single school, every single corner of our county has kids in it who don't have a safe place to call home. And I think just making sure that we're taking care of each other neighbor to neighbor and doing what we can to, to help the nonprofits, the government programs, and and most importantly, our neighbors to really lift out of these situations because when they get the help they need, it's amazing what they can achieve. I think giving to organizations, giving to ASPAN, to Samaritan Ministries, to this place, uh, donations are always good. We can always use clothes, we can always use toiletries, uh, food is always good. We can always really appreciate food. Um, you know, even just being nice to see a homeless guy on the street, just say hello to him. Acknowledge that they are in fact a human being instead of just something that's there that you ignore, that you don't want to deal with. It's the ugly part of society, so I don't want to deal with it. No, say hello to them. It was when somebody would just say hi to me or something like that make me feel like uh, I matters, and you know, uh, it ain't about giving no money all the time when I panhandle. It's about people just riding past or walking past and just say hi, you know. 
I'm always uh, at peace and thankful that I'm still here because we integrated high school. We march on Washington. A whole lot of people not here now. I said, it must be a reason for me to still be here. This time where she's gone